hit start. <coughs> Hello and welcome to podcast. Uh, did you already hit start? I already hit start. I'm your host Joey Simcoe, and I'm your co-host Jimmy Skidmore, and, and I'm the- a dude named Timo. He's yep. our special guest. Now you can put uh, faces to the names because for this new year, we're recording visuals along with the audio. That's why we took a long hiatus and not because we're lazy. Yeah. And not at all because we were definitely on break. Definitely yeah. not because of any sort of break. Now, yeah. over break, we could have, like, recorded We could have mass recorded. Them. So this could be from a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, but you guys wouldn't know that. So, starting off the 2020 season of podcast... This might have happened before 2020 even started. Yeah, you still don't God, know that. that's wild. Yeah, so... What uh, do you guys want to do on New Year's? <laughs> Let, let's have a raging banger. Excuse let's me? A raging... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd like to. <laughs> oh, let me rephrase it. A raging banger. I still don't know what to expect from that. Is that, is that British? Never mind. <laughs> no, I don't think so. So welcome to this weird angle. <laughs> We're still figuring things out. <laughs> from this perspective, you'd assume that Tim was at least six foot tall, which he's not. Yes, I am. Um, and I'm exactly and you'd assume that Joey tall. was only slightly shorter than me, which he's not. <laughs> No, I totally am. Yeah, only slightly. I'm only slightly shorter. Anyway, today's episode is about ghosts. And other scary stories to, to tell, tell in the, the dark. dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, fuck, hold on. Um, a real original name for real original content. Don't forget to check out our merch. Don't forget yes. to check out our merch and subscribe New to our New designs channel. coming. Like and everything. Coming from me soon because I have a degree in graphic art. That's not true. That's unverified. So where did you get your true. degree? Yeah, where'd you get your degree? Stotzenberger Online College. <laughs> I got mine from the University of Phoenix. <laughs> Both great colleges, to those of you looking to commit. Mm. Uh, Who wants to start with their ghost story? Okay, so uh, whenever a- anyone starts talking about ghosts, this is the first story that always comes to mind. So, when I was in elementary school, my family and I were living in this house, and it was like, I'm no shit, there was a witch that lived there before us. I'm not even joking. Like, this chick had seances and all she sorts of shit. No, she wasn't oh. hanged or anything. She, she just moved out. It's modern <laughs> okay. century. You don't fucking hang someone for being a <laughs> she witch. Just, she just left. <laughs> but she just left. Moved to greener witch pastures. <laughs> but, uh, pastures? yeah, anyways, pastures? This, like, this chick was fucking weird as hell. And, like, that's it? That's the story? <laughs> no, like, she had seances and all sorts of other, like, weird shit going on in the house. Like, she did Ouija boards and stuff, like, weekly. And, uh, so my parents were convinced that there was a demon in that house. So the scariest thing that ever happened to me in that house, to, to myself personally, <clears throat> was my sister and I, we were just chilling out, you know, having, having a ha- good time, having a blast having fun doing young children things you know yeah. like playing tag or whatever so then as you do to hide from my sister i go into my parents closet and that's also how you get into the attic ah because there was a oh yeah like yeah, there was a hole the, in the ceiling yeah there was yeah. a hole in the ceiling that you would that's pull how down my and attic the ladder would come down yeah yeah so we had that never went in the attic it's just like i'm pretty sure that's like where all the paranormal shit came from but so my sister, my sister. Is that the only area that's a paranormal realm? Is the attic? Hold on. <laughs> okay. Let, right. let me keep talking, dickhead. All right. So, uh, Savannah comes down, not down. She comes into my parents' closet as I'm hiding in there, and suddenly the door slams behind us. There's no lock on this door, but we can't fucking open it. Ooh. So we were trapped in this closet for fucking five minutes before we started screaming out for my mom and dad and then the night before that okay you really this held your composure there five minutes yeah we just you thought, spent five minutes trying to open that door well, we were kids we were able to distract ourselves really easily Damn. so did you spend five minutes trying to open the door yeah. or did you just spend five like, minutes chilling it was like five minutes it's like half of that well, then we would take turns trying to open the door. <laughs> right, it's locked. I can't. I can't get I it. Can't Savannah, get it. your turn. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Okay, continue. So the night before, um, my 
mom and dad told me this, obviously, because I wasn't there to experience this, because it's their room. So, uh, my dog that recently passed away, uh, Dudley, R.I.P., uh, he would always sleep with my parents, and uh, that night, bef- you know, before the whole closing of the door behind me, me in Savannah, um, Dudley stares at the closet, and the door's closed and everything, mm-hmm. and, like, all the hairs on his body just stand straight out, and he starts growling at the door as if there's somebody in there. And, like, that's probably one of the freakiest things. Yeah, that house was haunted as shit. I'm, like, <laughs> there was probably a demon in that house. Was there? We ended up having a priest come in and, like... Bless take, it? Yeah, bless it. We had someone sage the house, too, just to, yeah. <laughs> Did it work? Well, I mean, we didn't have that bad of uh, paranormal experiences after that. Did more in happen? that house. In that house. Oh, is there another house? I have, I've lived in a bunch of houses, Jimmy. Does, does anyone have a story they'd like to share real quick? Uh, yeah, I have a... I guess since it's on topic, I have a different, bigger story that's kind of a shebang that actually like happened to me for the end. But on the topic of houses, my father grew up in a very haunted house. And um, he, to- he told me a lot of stories. Most of them are, you know, interesting. I don't want to misquote any of them here. And I don't want to name drop anybody because I know a lot of these people. But um, I remember he, he, his, uh, his mother always lost ways and stuff like that. But the guy that used to live there, they didn't figure out who he was until a lot later. But um, basically, if I remember correctly, he had had, like, he had had cancer. And then there was, like, mystery surrounding his death. Hmm. So they think that his son helped kill, kill him. Not like, 100% like on this. Like assisted suicide sort of deal? Basically. Okay. But um, he had basically haunted the house from that point out, and there was a lot of times people would, like, spend the night, and, like, wacky shit would happen, and that was kind of always a big thing. So I think house hauntings are, are pretty common, <clears throat> but I'm not sure why houses are specific areas. I mean, I guess it makes sense if you died in that house, but did that witch die in that house? Because no. you said she moved. So you she think she moved. just left something? But she something? attracted like she, Yeah, she, she attracted something? multiple spirits to that mm-hmm. house. I've got a couple of house stories. Hey, turn None that around. Uh, but product placement. <clears throat> we, 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 no, Spons- fuck. Sponsored dude, by we, Dr. No, Pepper. No, no, we're, we're, not not we're not sponsored by Dr. Pepper. We're not sponsored by NordVPN, but we get really appreciate it. Saying that. Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. It's a free online multiplayer. Shut up! We're giving them free sponsorship. Shut up! I hate Raid Shadow Legends. Unless they actually AFK Arena, I would take your sponsorship. I won't take one from Raid. What well, you were? I would gladly take one from Raid. But Jimmy uh, has no value here on the podcast. I have approximately fifty percent of the value. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll we'll go forty nine percent just so that way Joey feels like he has the that that one percent on top. <laughs> you know, like that deciding <laughs> factor. But the special guest gets one percent. And it comes from Joey. So the only two people that can outweigh Joey are the guest and me. Okay. Well, actually, would we outweigh it? Because Maybe it would just 50-50. be even. Yeah. Yeah. The tiebreaker is you, the audience. <clears throat> Who should we take a sponsorship from? Raid Shadow Legends or... Uh, you know, they'd have to... Like, the companies would have to email us in order for us to even, like, <laughs> think about this, right? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah. Hey, uh, just go buy merch on the store so we can uh, buy better equipment. So that way I can finally have a chair again and not this couch. Yeah, well, you keep breaking them, so... I'll break this couch. (laughs) Don't fucking break the couch. Anyway, Tim, you had a story you wanted to tell? I have a couple of house stories, none of which which involve me, actually. So there's one story... You only get one, because we're doing, like, one location. Okay, well, I have a lot of stories. Yeah, well, so do I. <clears throat> All right, well, Jimmy this story seen. is actually a house across the street. Is this necessary? <laughs> Just reassuring. All right. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> um, there's this house across the street from mine and, like, to the left, like, two houses. And it's back further than all of the other houses. And it used to be really rusty pink paint, but then they painted it gray so it looks a little nicer now. Well, anyway... <laughs> it's extremely haunted and we know this because my my mom's friend used to live there when she was younger mom's friend's roommate's grandpa's uncle 
And one time, um, <clears throat> well, no, my mom's friend was friends with the person that lived there. No, I no, 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 I have it, I, I have it, I have it down, <laughs> actually. Here's what happened. What? My mom's friend moved in there, and on the first weekend that they were there, a lot of weird stuff was happening. They were getting calls at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning, as happens in, like, movies and stuff. Well, anyway, they got really annoyed because nobody was on the line, so they unplugged the phone completely, and they still got a call at 3 o'clock in the morning, right? And so they got really nervous, and they were like already phone? like. Bring that phone over here. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Let's let's use it for props. I got it. Can you re Can you reenact some phone calls? Yeah, for us, here Jeff? we go. Here okay. we go. Hello, it's three in the morning. Do 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 a scary voice, Tim. <sighs> uh, no, thank you. I wouldn't like to make a donation to feed the the needy. Hello. Give me all your, give me all your money. <laughs> it's three this, in the morning. Is this Israel again? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. All right. Well, anyway, they were having this weird phone thing, so Dude, they were already really scared, and they were thinking like, Israel or any maybe, hate groups. maybe this Love is Israel. like something wrong with the phone. We didn't say that either. <clears throat> So they just they let it be even though it was horrifying them. Well, anyway, this one night it was really really cold, and so they were gonna s- they. Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> Something happened, and so they were sleeping by this window, and the window was letting in really cold air. So they closed the window, and then anyway. The window in the middle of the night at like three in the morning flies open and the curtains stand out straight like this. They weren't waving because of wind. They were just standing out straight. And uh, they moved out of the house. (laughs) 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 They moved out of the house not long after that. And there's people living there now that have slowly been seen in public less and less. Since they moved in there, I wouldn't they're worry becoming about it. hermits because they're scared of their fucking. Maybe they house. made friends with friends with the ghosts, and now they yeah, just prefer to be there. Yeah, now the ghost is like, "Hey, you want to go get some beers?" <laughs> <laughs> Joey, do you have another story? Um, okay, so hey, can I interject here? <clears throat> yeah. While looking at this rotary phone, I noticed that the number for fire is two four six six three two one. Now, if there's a fire in your home, the way a rotary phone works is you'd have to go. And then you've died of smoke inhalation before you even finish the number because it would take that long. And it's just a fun fact about rotary phones that I wanted to point out before I put it back. Thank you. Okay. So uh, this next story takes place on uh, the first time I lived in Tiffin, which would have been uh, third and fourth grade, I believe. Yeah, third and fourth grade. So uh, I was a young lad, and uh, I was living in this house on Sean Hart Street. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, so, at the house, there was a staircase that would go up here and then go right, and there was a window right there. So, uh, hold on, let me, okay, so the staircase went up and then <laughs> off to the side, and there was a window right there. So that was for them. That <laughs> yeah. was for them, because they couldn't see that. You yeah, know? you're right. Yeah. The mic I'm thinking about the angle right here. So, uh. We think about our audience. <laughs> so, this window had a window pane naturally because as windows do yeah and uh so i was really into ghost hunting at this time so i decided to investigate my own house so i popped the camera on the window pane okay and it was like perfectly set the only thing that would have been able to knock it off would have been like someone just fucking smacking it (laughs) so uh that's an interesting point that you'll want to keep for later in the story mm -hmm. so as we are uh as i'm recording i'm just chilling downstairs you know just like I'm, I forgot what I was doing. I think I was watching like South Park or something. <laughs> in third or fourth grade. I've been watching South Park since I was born, baby. Are you eating my sunflowers? <laughs> no, I found sunflower nuts. God damn it. Okay, so okay, so I'm just chilling, and then suddenly I see this video camera go flying down the stairs, and I 
check to see what the recording said, and the recording completely stopped before it was thrown. And may I remind you, like, they, it was they, it was like minutes left of uh, filming left because you know how it notifies you about uh, yeah. the amount of minutes you have left. Yeah. Yeah, somebody would have had to turn it off and throw it down the stairs. And like, if a person did it, I would have saw the person do it. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're recording a podcast here. Yeah, that's that's the story. Uh, that's <laughs> well, that's um, scary actually. Did you ever think it might have been like a cat? You, you I, would have seen the cat when um, the video came out. I also did not have a cat, ever. <laughs> I've never had a cat. Hmm. Neither have I. So I've got a big one here. It's kind of like my one big ghost story, right? Yeah. You see, my father is a bit of a ghost aficionado <clears throat> because of the whole lived in a house with a ghost thing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I moved this over a little. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Because uh, of the whole lived in a house with a ghost thing. Yeah. So uh, about a, so- I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna break your legs and I'm gonna drink your blood. So, ab- so about a, it was it was uh, my junior year, would have been summer of my junior year. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, you're think I'm saying end of sophomore year into junior year. So the summer of junior year. Yeah. Two years ago then, and. Uh, He's staring at me like that. <laughs> but um, my father booked us uh, an overnight stay at this place called Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Oh, it's in Kentucky. Um, it was once a tuberculosis place. Uh, and let me tell you, the, what are you doing, Joey? Oh, don't touch your eye. What are you doing? I'm freaking out the audience. <laughs> I'm trying to tell a story here, Joey. Yeah, I'm trying to convey a mood by being weird over here. Okay. Uh, but it's freaky. it's called a uh, Waverly Hills Sanatorium. <laughs> it's in Kentucky. I don't know. I don't remember where it is in Kentucky. It's near uh, St. Louis or Louisville. Uh, St. Louis. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking of Louisville. Not in Kentucky. I have a sticker from Louisville, which I think is the place in Kentucky, because I remember I got that sticker in Kentucky. But I th- is Louisville, Kentucky, what a place? It's not the capital, but yeah. It's well, I'm not, I'm not talking about the fucking capital. Yeah. I mean, I'm not talking about the capital. Jimmy, I <laughs> said fuck three times already. Yeah, but it's about the personal integrity. Oh, it's vague opinion. But uh, so anyway, we go to this place, and the the basis of the overnight is it starts at eleven o'clock, and you're there till five in the morning. Eleven a.m. Eleven p.m. to five in the morning. <laughs> what? Eleven a.m. <laughs> All day ghost adventure. So it's dark the whole time. Um, and it's small groups. They're, uh, like, on each floor with us, there was probably about 10, 10 or 11 people. Yeah. Total, there might have been 50. There's three floors to this yeah. place. Now, um, it's indoors, obviously. You're in the sanatorium the whole time. But, uh, there's no lights. Because it's a, uh, it's like an older building. <laughs> but it, because it, it ran mostly in the 30s, I believe. And, um... So there's no lights in there, but there's also not any, like, walls to the outside. So, like, they had these rooms they would put the people in, in beds that they could get fresh air. So a lot of it's open, like, open to uh, the, the world, which is which was kind of cool the night we were there because it was a full moon. So, like, the whole inside was really well lit up. And um, the, it, the most of the night we went through was just some, like, minor things. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of, like, shadow people. Yeah, yeah. But it's the idea that through your peripherals, you'll see, like, figures moving. Um, and we saw some of those on every floor. Um, yeah, I've seen some of those mm-hmm. in that house, yeah. But the uh, the big thing that really That's happened was on the top floor, I was with my cousin, uh, Brett Kuhn, who uh, works in this town. He lives near us. He's my cousin. Doesn't he operate the parks? No, that's Bryce, who does, I think watches this. Oh. If Bryce is watching, (laughs) good on you, Bryce. Come to the next one. You'll make the story. (laughs) But uh, this time it was was Brett, my dad, and I. And um, basically, um, we had been walking down this this hallway. And then we got to the end of it. And we started to come back. And we knew that there was an exit sign in this area. Because we had passed it. It was about halfway through. Yeah. But we looked in there on our way back, and we saw the exit sign wasn't there. Oh, no. So for so whatever reason, my dad didn't follow 
like Brett and I in there. Yeah. So we had walked in there and we looked around, and um, like I said, the way it was set up, you've got those outside viewing rooms that are open. Mm-hmm. Then you've got the actual room and then a hallway that it comes up. Mm-hmm. And me and him had gone through this room and into that hallway, and uh, like basically just a black orb had come in here and this is where the the exit light was that we thought that we thought we couldn't see and it came in here and you could see this light had illuminated the hallway pretty well but where it was there was no illumination and it basically flew under the doorway of the hallway and straight up and at this point we both had kind of like you know stopped and looked (laughs) up at it and then it went straight down into the floor now at this point I'm still looking to kind of see like what's going on but uh, Brett had completely bolted, so I'm pretty much standing there alone. Uh, and so then I turned bolt as well, and I'm ch- I uh, and my dad's standing there, and he's like, "What are you guys freaking out about?" And we're like, "Well, something came at us there," and um, you know, we were all standing there watching then, and my dad hadn't seen anything. And uh, as we're standing there, it wasn't the same like dark orb thing. It was just kind of like a, it was like it was a white light that was kind of shaped like a person came out for a couple seconds yeah. and then went back in. But it was uh, it was a pretty jarring event. I, <laughs> I'm starting to think video was probably the worst fucking thing we could have added to this podcast. Of anything we could have added to this podcast, I'm almost 100% certain video was the worst Well, maybe now. if you didn't break so many fucking chairs, we wouldn't be in this situation. That doesn't make sense. Cameras are more expensive than just audio. But breaking things wouldn't give us a higher budget. Give us a lower budget a, because you break shit. It was a terrible episode. It was a great yeah. episode. Everyone's gonna love the randomness of this. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, random is funny. With your story. I also like have show. a series. Here, let's let's point it over there. I also have a series of events that happened to me You're while in oh, a right. haunted asylum. That's Hopefully, yeah. hopefully nobody's wearing headphones. Hold on. I wonder if they can hear me from back here. I guarantee they can. It's, it's a microphone. microphone. It, well, no. All right, anyway. So here's where my story begins. No ASMR. <laughs> okay. No, do ASMR. Do the whole so I'm going to do a little they bit. Got that capability. Do you recognize it? Do you recognize it? It's I'm going to do a little bit years now. of a throwback <laughs> story to begin it. So, my story begins a long time ago, back in the 20s. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Well, my story <laughs> begins a long time ago, back in the 20s, at a place in Athens, Ohio, called The Ridges. This place was also a tuberculosis ward and, like, a... Like an insane asylum, mostly. But uh, one of the stories starts a long time ago where they were starting to shut down the asylum because they were starting to realize that some bad stuff was happening here. <laughs> and uh, um, <clears throat> the, this one like person, like a worker there, uh, he was playing hide and seek with one of the patients, and she hid in a closet, and he never found her and just left her, and she died there. And then, like a year <laughs> she, later, did she not open the closet? She just she was insane. She didn't want to be found. Is this one of those like Joey things where him and his sister are chilling in the closet? And like, what happened is pretty like, much just actually. <laughs> But what happened was when they shut down the asylum, they found her there. And there was there's permanently like this area where you can see where her body was. Nobody smelled her. No. Nobody was in that area of the hospital. There was an active This is a messed up story. It's a a mental hospital. They don't care about the patients that much. (laughs) But (laughs) anyway. 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 One time. Uh, this is another flashback story. This girl. He's, he's gonna be so loud. He does not need to be this close. To this mind. girl. <laughs> this true. girl that went to the college right on campus next yeah. to the ridges. Was OU. It, was it was. Well, anyway, she touched the body spot, 
when she went into the ridges and she she fucking died no she went crazy like she started seeing things and she started freaking out and then she, she did ended the up for a year she ended died. up becoming like really witchy and stuff and oh. she cut herself to kill herself and wrote with blood on the walls she a bunch of die. satanic stuff she did die and what happened was they made that room like <coughs> a closet or something but it's still in that dorm and that girl haunts the dorm still you're telling me well anyway they sh- another th- another story that goes along with this is one time i was visiting my sister when she to went to ou well, this is one story that goes story. back a long time ago i story. was visiting my sister when she went to ou and we went it, we broke we broke into yeah, the one that you guys consider <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> But what happened was... Wait, which one? Um, I'm going to tell all of my sisters to watch this. That's going to be... I'm well, not the one that said it. I anyway. Didn't, I didn't confirm or deny that. Because well, anyway. All the time. <clears throat> anyway. Honestly, probably the first time I've ever fucking dogged on Tim for that. <laughs> it might be In actually... In front of our live studio audience but, of seven people. Um... Uh, what was I? Oh, what was I saying? Now. Oh yeah, wait. Uh, uh, where where did I where did I leave off? Oh at, yeah, oh, we there. broke into the ridges. Yeah. She and broke in. Yeah, you're not legally allowed to go in. I'm glad you're telling this story then. Yeah, but uh, we started yeah. walking around on a different floor, and uh, it it just felt really weird. It felt like we weren't alone because it's supposed to be a haunted place. I didn't have any of my nifty ghost hunting uh, technology that I have now, but uh, at the time, I had a, f- a camera, so I was taking pictures and stuff, and eventually we worked our way down to the body spot room, and it was super cold, like obviously just like it felt off, Right. but I took pictures and we got out of there as fast as possible because we didn't want to be in there anymore. Mm-hmm. Well... Later on, I was looking at the pictures, and in the body spot room, you can see, like, a bunch of orbs, and they kind of made up, like, sort of a figure of somebody standing there, which I can't confirm or deny this. They were blotchy. It was weird. What but year in, was this? This was a long time ago, okay, like, so Annie's old, freshman like, year. Old, yeah. gross cameras that... Yeah. yeah. Uh, this might have been on my iPod, as a matter of fact, before I got a phone. It was on a disposable But also, it, another no. thing is, somebody else took a picture from, like, away from the ridges. Mm. And if you zoom in, you can see a face in the window. Somebody mm. just watching out. Well, anyway, those are most of my ridges stories. I have a, I have a lot of them, because I've been in the ridges a lot over the years. I, sh- I still don't know if but you should, like, hey, com- Tim, admit that, isn't it? <laughs> Tim, it doesn't matter. We can see your string in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joey's turn. I'll. Ah. <laughs> no. Actually, no, we're getting knock it off with the yelling into the mic. Actually, we're getting close to Why the time of the end of podcast. So uh, because about? that's oh. how it works. Wait, what do you mean we're getting close to the end? How long does it? Bro, you can't read that. That's like twenty-eight minutes. That's n- our podcasts are like forty-eight minutes long. Uh, no, that's the longest one that we've done. Most of them are thirty. That's all the time we have for podcast. You I'm your about? host, we Joey. We have time. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you nasty. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> my chest. Conveniently placed towel. <clears throat> um, <sighs> I still have <sighs> Anyway, I have one more story. Would you like to tell yours first? Sure. All right. God, I hate you guys. This is more of a broad overview, uh, but I feel like coming from northwest Ohio, it's... I'm going to kill you. We're not recording with video anymore, you spastic. Just let it be. <laughs> um, no, the acoustics are wrong there. As, as a member uh, <laughs> of living in Northwest Ohio, I feel that we have to mention um, the Shawshank Redemption. Screaming Mimi Bridge. No, those exist no. in every county we have across our Ohio. The, the, ho- the prison where the Shawshank Redemption was filmed is near. Is haunted and it it's not near it's, it's an, an hour away story, yeah. okay it's an, an hour away Mansfield. Mansfield, yeah. what the hell it's called the Mansfield you guys don't know shit about I've been there before 
Yes, you will die. My father did an overnight there with the <laughs> aforementioned uh, cousin of mine. Actually, I think all of my cousins inc- and uh, my one uncle. Two uncles, maybe. You Might have been both two of them. uncles? Dang. Yeah. My father's side of the family. Uh, my father has siblings, whereas my mother doesn't. Some of them watch this show. Hey. <laughs> Dude, you have two uncles? Yeah. I got more. I have, like, five. I was going to say, two uncles is kind of low, Damn actually. Tim has more uncles. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I have two uncles. I had to remember for a second. I, I had to go through my family I tree. I have four first uncles, no great uncles. I'm not counting great uncles. I'm not yeah, either. I have five yeah. uncles. I have four. God. That's a lot of uncles. That's a ton of uncles. It's my uncle John and my uncle Rob. I also who might watch this show. I also have an uncle John. I would have assumed John is the most popular name in the United yes. States behind Daquan. Brad, Brian, James Eric, and Adam. <laughs> behind Daquan. Are my uncles. Yeah. Aaron? Two, Adam. Two A's or Brad, one A? Brad, Brian, Eric. Oh, I mixed Adam. together Ryan and Adam and got no. Aaron. <laughs> What um, the hell? Yeah, but they went to the uh, the Mansfield Reformatory, did an overnight. I don't know, have you guys ever been in the Mansfield Reformatory? I was there one time, but I didn't get to stay overnight because I was too young. Well, I didn't either, but did you guys go into that room that has the chair? Yes. There's this room there that has a chair, and if you sit in it, you can like hear things in the, in the walls. Don't do that. If you close it as well. I still think it's just water pipes. I don't. I don't think that that's an actual ghost thing. I think it's just yeah. water pipes. I don't know if the Mansfield prison. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it's know if the big. prison is actually haunted big. or not. I think it's more of like a tourist attraction, but there are the definitely. Did you like, see uh, Lil Wayne's cell he has that he painted gold? There's a cell there that, like, Lil Wayne or somebody. Yeah, Lil some... Wayne did a music video. Yeah, <laughs> and he, he had it painted gold. So, like, and they didn't get rid of it. So the whole cell is well, just you... gold. <laughs> and and it's just funny because I didn't know that walking through the first time. So I'm just minding my own business. I don't think I had a tour guide. And they have a plaque that says it. But I'm just walking, and there's just this golden gold cell. cell. And I was like, what is that for, like, prisoner of the month? He gets to chill <laughs> in the golden the cell. Month. Gets to hang out in the old gold cell. This month's prisoner of the month <laughs> is Tony Davidson, who stabbed and murdered his entire family on a roid rage epidemic. Oh, no. <laughs> this takes over for uh, uh, <laughs> Mark Antonio, who committed tax fraud. These are not real criminals. We are making up fake names and possibly real crimes. <laughs> possibly? <Most likely. laughs> no, they're real crimes. I know tax evasion is a real crime. I know, roid, ra- I know roid rage is a real <laughs> roid thing. Roid rage is a crime. Don't do roids, oh, children. Let's take the towel off the table. Ugh. Are you telling me that's the only thing that looks kind of dumb about this episode? Well, anyway. I can't kick you out, Jim. You're kind of a co-host. <laughs> My <Yeah>. final story <laughs> is... The, the, that was a sick burn. The long arm. No! Knock it right. off! Anyway. <laughs> Everyone's going to hate us now. Yeah. Now. <laughs> So my Uncle John that I was talking about a couple of minutes ago used to live in Kansas City. John Smith? No, his name is John Frazier. Kansas City, Arkansas? Or Kansas City, Missouri? I have no idea. I was young when he lived there. I don't remember. You don't remember which Kansas City he lived in? No, I don't. You don't remember if he lived in Kansas or Arkansas? There's not a Kansas City, Kansas. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, no. I'm sorry. It wasn't Kansas City. He just lived in Kansas. <laughs> anyway, it's like anyway. I was still right despite not knowing geography. Anyway, despite not knowing geometry, I this still house <laughs> was really nice, but it was really creepy and really haunted. And there's a couple of stories here. The first one is very quick. That's why I'm telling them both. My oldest siblings are twins, and when they were really little, they went there and stayed for a little while. And they started freaking out one night, and my mom came in, and she was like, yo, what's wrong? I doubt she said yo. (laughs) But she was like, yo, 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 what's what's wrong, children? Hey, children. And, uh, anyway, my sister was like, dude. (laughs) My sister (laughs) was like, hey, I doubt it. She was like, four. But she was like, (laughs) she was like the dark man. Won't stop visiting the me. The night man. Dude. <laughs> yeah, night practically. Man. She was like, dude, 
This dude won't leave me alone. I'm scared of him. He's really scary and everything. And then my mom's, or then later on, at back at my house, yeah. uh, she was saying the same stuff to my mom, but my mom was like, are you scared of him? And she said, no. And she said, why? And she said, because Mary is like, ke- like next to me and she's Who's keeping Mary? me safe. I don't know. Maybe the Virgin Mary, maybe just a woman named Mary. It doesn't matter. The vir- <laughs> this is a Virgin theory. It's the Virgin but Mary. But the other story in my uncle's house is uh, one morning. <laughs> one morning. <laughs> Hello and welcome to podcast. Now with Joey's sister. Anyway. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Make an introduction. Um. That's so one morning. That's Savannah. Who they had back this the light. Though. That it was, uh, it's like a clap on light, like a, cl- <laughs> like the clapper and everything. And one morning, this was towards when they were like, we got to get out of this place. Mm-hmm. Uh, one morning, my uncle just heard a booming voice go, time to get up. And then clap, clap. And the lights came on. <laughs> just your dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, this was, they were just living there. Like this wasn't, we were visiting or anything. Wow. And so they moved out, and now they live in Alliance. Do they still have the man that turns the lights on for them? No. That seems like a feature more than a problem. <laughs> I don't know, but what else would he have done? I'd be kind of excited if I was just chilling, and then, like, I was late for work, but then the voice in my house was like, <laughs> Hey, man, he was late. like, dude, <laughs> you got school. All right, all right. But uh, this has been... This has been an episode of Podcast. I'm your host... Joey Simcoe. I'm your, co- and, uh, I'm your co-host, Jimmy Skidmore. Goodbye, and everybody. Please don't tune in anymore. Thank you. Tune I love in you. even more than you before. I would. All right, all right, all right. Hit that button. Tim, oh, hit the button. Tim, hit the button.